please like and subscribe. Because if you don't, you'll be making the same mistake this guy did. Yeah, I bet you I can make that jump. Even though the water's about a thousand miles away. Well, let's give it a go. Here I go. And yep, okay, I'm suddenly regretting that decision. Don't do what that guy did. Subscribe and like this video. Just do it. Hey guys, this is Jonathan the PC Smith. Today I'm going to be showing you the benchmarks for Dragon Age Inquisition with Mantle. So we're going to go to Options and I'll show you the graphic settings. Everything is set to Ultra that you see there. It kind of makes it blurry when I scroll through them, so I'll try to take that off. Um, the shadow quality is the only one that I set to low. Um, and then there's only two other settings. There's the multi-sampling anti-aliasing that I turn that off and the post-processing anti-aliasing, and I turn that to medium. Other than that, as you can see, everything else is set to ultra. Now, the reason why I set some of those settings to lower settings is because this game is actually a console port. Um, the developers concentrated heavily on making it for consoles, so the Xbox One, PS4, and so when they were porting it over to PC, they didn't concentrate as well on making it compatible, working out all the bugs, making sure it works with different sets of hardware that so many PCs have. It's so varied between the graphics cards, processors, everything else. And so it, it, it's just not very compatible with a lot of systems. Even if you have a high-end system, it's still you still get really poor frames a second. So I'm going to be using the in-game frames per second counter instead of fraps or some type of other one because any other type of counter will not track or draw the frames per second accurately of mantle because they only measure direct x 11 in order to use the in-game frames per second measure you need to go here on your keyboard most of the time it's going to be in the upper left hand corner under the escape button it's this button right here this little squiggly line you press that and you notice that this console line command will come up. Then you're just going to type the following perf overlay dot oh, dot um, draw fps space the number one and press enter. And now you can see up here in the upper right hand corner the frames per second have appeared. So a little FYI, any game that is in Origin, that's Origin based, you can use this same method. Just type in the perf overlay, draw FPS 1 for Titanfall, Battlefield 4, any of those games that are in Origin. Alright, so right now we're in the area called the Fallow Mire. This is the best place to benchmark because it really pushes your system to the limits. It's got tons of tessellation with the rocks. Um, tons of moving foliage with the grass, the trees, and the leaves moving. Um, tons of pixel shading going on with all the wet, slick rocks, the walls of like cabins, your clothes, everything. So it really pushes your system to the max. It's a good place to benchmark. So as you can see right now, the frames per second just standing still. It's just barely hanging on there around 30 frames a second. Like 32 is kind of the average. So I'm going to take you through... Uh, just a little bit here in the fallow mire and then you can see the minimum average and maximum frames a second so so far that's the highest we got was 42 lowest we've got is 31 see if we can get into a fight somewhere there we go alright so 27 we drop down to that
Next place we're going to benchmark is here in Skyhold. This is kind of the main area in the game, kind of like your base, I guess. And there's a lot of effects going on here. It's not near as intense as the Fallomire, but still like a lot of dynamic uh, lighting and HBO on collision. Um, there's a lot of NPCs, so it pushes both your graphics card and your processor. And now I'm stuck. Okay. So the last place we're going to benchmark for DirectX 11 is the Storm Coast. Um, so again, it's got a lot of effects like the Fallowmire. It's not as intense, but again, it's got a lot of rain, so your clothes are wet. It's got to show the pixel shading. Um, it shows the slick uh, surfaces of rocks, tents, the ground, trees. Um, just lots of, lots of effects going on in this one. So it's also a good place to benchmark. Now I'm going to show you the exact same three areas that we benchmarked, but we're going to do it with Mantle and not DirectX 11. So we just go to Options, and then we go down to where it says Display, click that, and then where it says Graphics API. Right now, you can't see it because it's so blurry and white, but it says DirectX 11. We're going to switch that to Mantle. So now, it's, now you can see it kind of in the background, Mantle, except, and then... In order for it to take effect, you actually have to quit the game and go back in, just like you do with Thief. And just completely get out of the game. And then just start it back up. Alright, so remember in the Fallow Mire, when we were sitting at about 31, 32, well right now we're sitting at about 42, 43. So that is a huge improvement, 10 frames a second. That's over 20% frame rate increase. Awesome. Let's continue to see what else we got. Right now it's been holding at a solid, oh now we just went up to 50, but it's been holding at a solid 44. I'm trying to recreate the exact same benchmark that we did, have the exact same actions, the exact same things that went on, so that way it's completely accurate and there's nothing that's been changed. Okay, so remember when we were at Skyhold and we were at 35 frames a second? And now it's 57? Guys, that is a 60% increase in frames per second. That is huge. 
huge. And just so you believe me, I have not changed any of the graphical settings. Let's go here, options, we'll go right back to display so you can see. Look, 1080p, go back, and graphics right here. Everything is set to ultra. Go back down. Ultra, shadow quality, still low like before. Everything else, ah, get off there. Everything else is ultra. Post-processing, medium, multi-sampling, anti-aliasing, off. And still, 57 right there. This time I'm not going to get stuck. Back at the Storm Coast, if you remember with DirectX 11, we had uh, around 42, it was 41, 42, it'd flicker between there. And right now, it's at 50, 51 is where it'll flicker between that. So that's a 9 frame increase, which is about 20%. So let's just see what else we can get from this. And then one little myth I want to dispel about Mantle is that people will say, oh, it lowers the graphics quality, the graphics aren't as good. No. If you look, it is the exact same. It doesn't make it better or worse, the graphics. All that Mantle does is communicate with the CPU and your graphics card so that they work together better. They work more in harmony, they work more efficiently, and that's why you get higher frames a second.